Oh. Intense workout. Today, we're going to have a bit more mobility-centric workout. So it's cool stuff. Uh, some of it we've done, some of it we've ha we haven't. Uh, and we're going to make the most of it. So bands on, water head. And we will get rolling. So let's come on up. First exercise we are very familiar with. We have our single arm wrist circles. So contrary to normal when we kind of move both hands, this time we're going to isolate one arm, one hand. We're going to make a fist and we're going to work through a range of motion to fire up the forearm without letting any part of the body move except for the wrist. So let's start. Make a fist with your right hand. Pull the elbow in 90 degree angle. Get your cycle going. Our intervals are 40 seconds. So first 40 seconds, here we go. Single wrist circles. And we're doing these with the intention of working the muscles of our forearm and also increasing our wrist mobility. So for those who are on Instagram who might be joining us for the first time with the band, we want to work smaller muscles before bigger muscles, contrary to normal working out. Good, so we can build up some nice lactic acid. Last 15 seconds. And see if you can make those circles bigger, slower, work through that range, work every muscle in the forearm. Fast. Four, three, two, and switch sides. Draw the left arm in towards the body. Stabilize it with the right hand. 40 seconds. Here we go. Work through that range. This is the smallest, most specific movement we're going to be doing today. The rest of our stuff does isolate specific joints, and some of it works the entire body. I hope everyone's been having a nice week and some good workouts. We made it to Friday. Yes, last 15 seconds. And make sure that that left forearm is not moving at all. We're really isolating the joint. And regardless of the forearm strength, working wrist mobility is really important. We use our wrist a whole lot. Good. Four, three, two, and rest. We've got one more set of these, and then we're going to work down onto our bellies for what I call swimmers, fitting for a lot of the folks we work with. Right arm into the body, stabilize with the left hand, 40 seconds, second set. Here we go. Work through that range. And you should be working through this so much that that right arm really wants to move. The muscles are being worked so much, but you're not going to let it. Nice. Good. Full forearm fatigue. Awesome. Okay. Half done. Then we're going to go right into the other arm, and then we'll make our way down for our second exercise. Yeah, and there we go. Ooh, ooh, I'm starting to get a little tired here. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last half of the second side. Let's go. Awesome. Nice. Great job, Instagram, as well. And because it is summer all across the country right now, at least if you're on the stage, please feel free to pause, take water breaks whenever you need to. Good. Work into it a little bit more, even bigger. Yes. Nice. Last 15 seconds. Woo. Starting to see veins, things that are working. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. So today's workout, not as much for strength, more so working on flexibility and mobility. So keeping that in mind, we're going to make our way down all the way into our bellies, prone position. I'm going to scoop my device out of the way. I'm going to root my left hand into the floor and press my right hand on top of my left hand. And then we're gonna lift alternating limbs. So right arm, left leg, and we're only gonna do one side. 
as you do this, I want you to really press the left hand into the floor and use it to help lift the upper body even higher. So what are we doing? We're really focusing on the arms here because we're working our shoulder mobility. And as an aside, we're also building some strength in the hamstrings and glutes and getting some mobility in the spine, spinal extension. Go ahead and root the left hand into the floor, right hand stacks on top of it, right arm, left leg, 40 seconds. Here we go. And we're only working into that one side, keeping the gaze down at the ground the whole time to the back of the mouth stays long. Good. And as you press into that left hand, get your chest up even higher. Lift it up. Yes, half done. This is the first half of our first set. Ooh, good. And for the leg part, not as important, but imagine I'm pulling on your big toe. And maybe you want to skip the leg part. If your back hurts, you just do the arm that side. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And switch with the right hand to the floor. Take the left hand on top of it. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Left arm, right leg, up and down. And I want those elbows to be completely straight so that we're working into the shoulder joint. Keep going. Good job. Good. Awesome. Nice. Great job. Instagram, Zoom, got it. Good. Perfect. Yes. Opposite arm and leg. Yes. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and come up onto the forearms. Let the blood pool for a beat. Take a quick rest. And then we'll come on down for our second set. Go ahead and make your way all the way back down onto the belly and the chest. Root the right hand into the floor. Take the left hand on top of it. And we want to be lifting alternate limbs. So I saw one person doing same side. See if you can do opposite side. Not a big deal. Just try it on this round. 40 seconds. Here we go. Left arm, right leg, up and down. And if you really want to target it, you can only do the arm. That's fine. But if you're feeling like doing legs, you can do that as well. Getting into the spine. Good. And we want to take these slow, focusing on how straight and high we can lift the limbs. So we're not flopping around. We're using the muscles of the back of the body and opening up the shoulders. Brilliant. Last 12 seconds. Good. And five. This time we're going to lift and hold it. Three, two, one. Lift the limbs. Pull them up. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Root the left hand into the floor. Take the right hand on top of it. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Other side, up and down. Oh, keep it up. I like it. After this, we're going to work through some more range of motion of the Fine on our hands. Awesome. John looks great. Jim looks good. Diane, you've got it. Everyone's doing great work. Yes. Amazing. Last 15 seconds. Good. We've got swimmers. Mm -hmm. Good. In five, we're going to lift the limbs and pulse them. Three, two, lift up, pulse them up. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and rest. Everyone make your way onto your hands. Press your butt back to your heels. And as you press your butt back, I want you to walk your fingers forward away from the body. Make a little tense with your hands and let your chest rest through your arms without letting the elbow touch the floor. This is just a quick stretch before we keep jamming. All right. So... Sprinkling a little yoga into our practice, because that's always good for flexibility. We're going to roll through downward facing dog to upward facing dog. Laurel, what the heck are you talking about? I'll show you. Even if you're not a yogi, you've never done yoga, this is a fun one to try. 
So I come into an upside down V shape with my body. I start to roll forward into plank and then I drop my hips, lifting my chest up. Use your core to pull the hips up and back, stretching the back of the body and then roll forward and drop the hips down. So that's our move. Let's start with the hips up and back. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. And today is flexibility and mobility day. So focusing more on how much you can lift the chest, get into the back. And then once you pull your hips up and back, think about dropping the heels down towards the floor to get an extra stretch. Nice. So we're going a little slower today than normal. Cool. Top done. And those shoulders are also getting a nice dose of mobility because we're forcing them up and over our head as we press our hips up and back. Really push the floor away from you. Good. Last four. Three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Take a quick rest. Give the wrist a roll. Give the other wrist a roll. And we'll make our way up for our second set. So I accidentally split my toe open the other day when I was running around in my backyard. So if I look a little funky with my toes tucked, that's why I'll probably put my bands on to help regenerate after this workout. So hips up and back. Good. We've got 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Roll forward. Drop the hip, engage the core, and pull it back. Keep my cycle going. Good. And each time you lift your hips up and back, see if you can press them away from the upper body a little bit more. Cool. Half done. Awesome. All right. We have 10 more seconds. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. We've got two things we're doing for the spine and then one more upper body exercise. So for the spine, the first 40 seconds, we're only doing one round of each of these. The first one, I take my left hand to the back of my head. I wrap elbow to elbow underneath the body, and then I open it up to the left. Now, I want you to press this bottom arm into the mat and lift up as high as you can, squeeze out a whole lot of range of motion in your spine. So let's take our first 40 seconds. Ready? And let's go. Elbow to elbow. Open it up. Lift. Good. Wrap it under. And lift up. Awesome. Keep working through that. We're only doing one set for this side. Nice. Cool. Good. Half done. I love that. Really working into the thoracic spine, the mid upper back which is hard to twist. Most of the time when we do twisting movements, we use our lower spine. Good, give me five, four, three, two, and release the left hand. Take the right hand to the back of the head, twisting the spine the other way in three, two, and one. Elbow to elbow, rotate up. Bring it down, rotate up. Awesome, keep going. Those who have their video on look great. Those who don't, keep doing what you're doing. Hi. And this can be a core exercise if we allow it to be. So really engage your core to help squeeze out more range of motion. Fantastic work. Last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. And the arms should be getting a little tired too if we're really working through this, giving it enough effort. I love it. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Next 40 seconds, we're doing cat cow for the spine. Then we have one more upper body mobility exercise, and we'll swap out the bands. 
So cat cow, spread the fingers really wide. As you inhale, lift the chest and tailbone. Now we don't want to just do this. We want to imagine that we're pulling the chest through the arms, lengthen the spine as much as you can. And then as you exhale, we round the spine. And we don't want to just round. We want to dome the upper back like heck, press the floor away from us. Now that we have those movements, let's work through it. 40 seconds. Here we go. Inhale to get that back bend. Exhale, round out the spine. Really round it up. Inhale, spinal extension. Exhale, spinal flexion. Cool. And as I'm lifting my chest, I'm imagining pulling it through my arms to get a little more oomph in there. Nice. Last 15 seconds. Yeah, give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, final upper body exercise. We did our prone swimmers. Now I call these forearm swimmers. We make our way down into forearm plank. I reach my left arm forward, make a big stroke back, make a big stroke forward, and set it down. Now, as you do this, I do not want you to roll over to onto one side. Both hip bones stay spread off to the floor the whole time. And I want you to try and keep your body as stable as you can so you're working into the hip joint. Let's give it a try, 40 seconds, in four, three, two, alternating sides. Reach around, big stroke, tap the floor, reach all the way back and around, set the floor down, and then work into the other side. Cool. Now notice if your body is tipping and rocking, control your core and isolate that movement so it's only in the shoulder. Fantastic job. Yeah. We've got a fun lower body set coming our way after this. Some active flexibility stuff. Nice, half done. Awesome. Everyone with their video on is looking great. Good. See if you can make those end circles even bigger. Work through the range. Last 10. In five, we drop the knees. Four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop your knees. Pull your butt back for a moment. And let's work our, our way through our final set. Make your way right into forearm plank. This time starting with the right arm, but still alternating in three, two, and one. Reach it forward, big circle, tap the floor, reach back, and set the arm down. Keep working. It's just kind of hard for me to be in plank today because of my toe. <laughs> but you guys are doing great. I'm right here with you rooting for you. And you are also holding 40 seconds in a one-armed forearm plank, which is not necessarily easy. But give yourself some credit for doing that as well. Nice. Half done. After this, we'll come up for some water. And we'll swap out our bands. Good. Last 10. Oh, shoulders are really worked. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody, come on up, grab some water, and go ahead and swap out your arm bands for leg bands. The question of the day is mountain, ocean, forest, or desert? Pick your favorite. Mountain, ocean, forest, desert. Steve says, ocean, all caps. Definitely didn't see that one coming from the guy who lives in Huntington Beach. <laughs> Preferably tropical, interesting. John says, ocean, nice, what else? It's hard for me. <laughs> Good. Swap out leg bands. All right, who else we got? Mary says, ocean ties with mountains. 
Jim says, yes, all. Jim, that's cheating. That's not fair. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. I would say all of them. Um, if I had to pick, absolutely had to pick, I would probably say Forrest. Uh, but think about my name. It's Laurel. I'm named after a tree. Kind of, my parents kind of set me up for that one. <laughs> But the ocean and the mountains are so close. And I love the desert. I like Joshua Tree. Steve says, where is George? I don't know where George is. But I think George would probably say mountains, I guess. Yeah, mountain man, for sure. Considering George's idea of a good time is like running up a mountain on his hands backwards. And he's like, yeah, it was a casual workout. All right. Get those leg bands on. Seems like we are a crew of skewing towards ocean people. Science of California because it has it all. Yes, I completely concur. Living here in Southern California, that is part of the draw of it. All right. Leg bands are on. Brains are working. Let's do this lower body stuff. I have like one or two exercises that are brand new, and I'm excited to try them out. Well, I've tried them, but I'm excited for you guys to try them. You are not, you are not my guinea pigs. Okay, let me tighten my bands. I've been culprit of not having tight enough bands. All right, now we're ready. First exercise, we are going to work our calves with heels up, butt down. And what that does is not only works our calves and our quads, but it also works our ankle mobility. So this demonstration might be a little wonky because of my toe, but I'm gonna do my best. I go heels up, and then once you're up, drop your butt down, okay? Keep your heels off the floor the whole time if you can. Otherwise, take a little break in between, okay? First 40 seconds, feet, hip distance, and parallel. We're going in three, two, and one. Heels up. Butt down, get low, yeah, good. Try and keep your heels lifted the whole time. Ooh, it's a little shaky. Mm -hmm. Get those heels up even higher. And by all means, I'm going fast because I practice this stuff. Take it slow, even if you're wobbling, you're shaking out, take your sweet time, get as low as you can. And then slowly press back up. Does it have to be fast? Last 10 seconds. Don't worry. You get a second round to try it. Good. Fast. Four, three, two, and rest. Move those ankles around. Ankle mobility, just as important as wrist mobility. Other ankle. All right. Second set. Heels up. We're going in. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, butt down, butt up, heels stay lifted, good, those heels up even more, yeah, there we go, <laughs> great, half done, see if you can do it slowly, I think it makes it even harder, ooh, at 15 seconds, Cycles are working. We're feeling that kicking in. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. This next exercise is a new one designed for flexibility, but there's a difference between flexibility and active flexibility. So what I do is I bend my knees enough so I can get my hands on, my, on the floor. Hands have to be on the floor. Yes, that's the rule, I know, I mean. Now, we step our left foot back, drop the forearms down, drop your knee down, step the left foot up. Step the right foot back. Drop your forearms and your back knee down. Step back up. You got the idea? So you're going to feel some intense flexibility happening here, and you want to drop your forearms inside your foot, down and up. And I want you to work on getting your forearms all the way to the floor, if you can. Super weird, 
We're working through it. 40 seconds, let's go. Step one foot back. Drop the knee down, get your forearm down. Step it up and switch. And I want you to really work on getting your forearm all the way to the floor. Oh yeah, it's hard. <laughs> now, what the heck are we stretching here? Our hips, active flexibility on the hip. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Nice, half done. Get those forearms all the way down to the ground. Nice. Oh, John is actually Kaziah. Plot twist. Okay. <laughs> Last seven, six, five, four. Looks great. Three, two, and rest. Good. Pretty hard. Kind of bizarre active hip mobility. So this is kind of similar to the greatest stretch in the world when we work towards getting our forearms down in that, just really targeting the hip. So let's do our second set. Bend those knees enough. I'm actually gonna take this device and pop it behind me so I have room to roam. Bend the knees enough with the hands rest on the floor. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Step one foot back. Drop the knee and the forearms down. Come up and switch. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Good. Keep it up. Super weird. Really great for our hips. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Half done. Good. Feel that burn of the outer hip. Not always comfortable, but it's so good for us. Yes. Good. Last 10 seconds. Get as low as you can with the forearms. That is the goal here. Work into it. I know I'm a broken record. This looks great. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Come on up. Give the hips a circle one direction. And a circle the other direction. All right, so we've got our outer hip. We've done some ankle mobility. Now, we are going to do a bit of strength for our hamstrings, but in the name of actively lengthening our quads. So if you have a mat, I recommend doubling it up. I know I'm working on a wood floor and I have bony knees. So if you have bony knees or you don't have bony knees, you might want to double up your mat. Step your left foot forward. Okay, I call this the proposal. Now, you're going to bend into that left knee and your 40 seconds are going to be spent getting that right foot up and off the floor as high as you can. So you'll notice that I'm not here. My hips are down, my chest is up, and I'm working into this back leg by lengthening the front quad. Here we go, 40 seconds. Good. Woo, that is a big hamstring squeeze on the right side, and that's what we want. Yes, try to keep your core engaged so that no other part of the body moves from this work. And if this starts to cramp, you are normal. That happens. Good. Nice. Oh, it burns. Last 15 seconds. Good. See if you can drop your hips even lower. Make it more challenging. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead and switch sides. We're probably going to include this exercise for strength next week because it's just as good for that, for that hamstring. All right, as you bend into the right knee, drop the hips down. Find that nice length across the left leg. 40 seconds, here we go. Up and down. Yeah. Good. Ooh-wee. Good, get that heel in even closer. Keep driving your hips lower. Great. 
half done. This is our first set, then we have one more. Good, drop the hips. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rock from side to side. Let's set up and do our final set. Step the left foot forward. Bend into that knee. And this is the only time and I'll ever tell you, if your knee goes past your ankle, it's okay. We're in a safe position. 40 seconds. Let's do it. Right leg. Yes. Ooh-wee. Right. Awesome job, guys. These look great. I still think we kind of copped out by a lot of people answering, I like all of the nature, but I'll take it. Good. Last 15 seconds. Ooh, drop those hips even lower. Yes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last set. Oh, my hamstrings are getting tight. We'll take a stretch for those after this. Right foot forward. Drop down into the proposal position. Last 40 seconds. Here we go. Amazing, good. Keep going. Nice, we will take an active hamstring stretch after this. I pinky promise. Getting nice length, opening of the quads, which are actually pretty understretched muscles. We focus a lot on our hamstrings and not a lot on our quads. We wanna give those guys some love too. Brilliant. Last 15 seconds. Good. Give me 10. Ooh, drop those hips even lower. Yes, Instagram. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up. Grab a sip of water. You can unfold your map. And let's take one 40-second round of good mornings to open up the hamstrings. As you come up from your good morning, I want you to squeeze your glutes so we also get some glute engagement. Hands up at the shoulders, glue the elbows in. Find spinal extension, back bend, 40 seconds. Drop down, squeeze the butt, rise up. Hinge forward, and squeeze to lift. We wanna make sure we're in spinal extension or a flat back the whole time. None of this, otherwise we're not doing anything. All right, there we go. Good. After this, we are going to come down into a plank position for a plank kick through. Another new exercise. Good. Last 10. Ooh, keep that back flat. In five, we're going to hinge and hold it. Three, two, one, hinge, pull the chest down, find a straight spine, pulse it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on down. And I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise. So we're actively strengthening our core and we're giving our legs a stretch. So I'm in plank position. I pick my right foot off the floor. I pull it to my left elbow, kick it through, take a stretch. I come back to center, kick that right leg back. Then I work into the other side. Left knee to right elbow, kick it through, take a stretch. Come back up, step it back. I'll work with you through it, all right? So let's make our way into plank position. 40 seconds, three, two, one. Pull your right knee into your left elbow. Kick it underneath the body. Reach towards the feet. Take a stretch. Now root your hands into the floor. Pull that right knee back to your center. Step it back. Left foot lift. Left knee under the body. 
kick it through. Take a stretch. Root the hands down, pull the left knee in. Step it back, good. Right knee to left, kick it through. Take the stretch. Hands down, pull the knee in. Step it back, one more. Left foot lift, kick it through. Awesome stretch. Hands to floor, pull the knee in, step it back, and rest. Nice. All right. We've got one more set. Those are great. All kinds of moving and grooving, making sure the body functions as one unit. Everything is working together. Let's make our way into plank position. Second set in three, two, one. Lift that right leg. Kick it through. Stretch. Hands come down, right leg lift, step it back, other side, left leg through, stretch, hands to floor, pick it up, step it back, keep going, it looks like people have got it, nice, as you take that stretch, both hands really reach into it, brilliant, last 15 seconds, great, nice Tim, good. In 10, we'll meet in plank. Six, five, four, three, two. Come into plank. Good. Press the hips up and back. And walk the hands back to meet the feet. Forward fold. And we roll on up to stand. All right. We have two more lower body exercises. And then we will take some core work that is also good for the spine, and then we'll call it a day. So our next exercise are squat knee drops. So I come down into a squat position. My arms are turned out in front of me. I drop alternating knees down to the floor. If you can't get that low, it doesn't matter. You drop into your squat. Still, drop alternating knees down to the floor. What are we doing? We are working internal hip rotation. This is neutral. This is external. This is internal. We never do internal. It feels weird. It's very important so that our hips maintain mobility. All right. First 40 seconds. Make fifth. Extend the arms out. Drop into squat. Whichever, however low you can go, doesn't matter. 40 seconds. Knees come down and switch and down and switch. And I want to do my best not to let the rest of my body move. Yes, that's it. Keep going. Oh, brilliant. It feels so weird when that knee drops. It's almost like a cramping sensation. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. You are. It's going to be okay. They look good. Yeah. It feels so weird. Yes, half done. Good. See if you can drop those knees even lower. Work through it. Maybe coming onto the inner edge of the foot. Internal hip rotation. Very bizarre. Last 15 seconds. Yes. Eight. Seven. Nice. Six. Good day. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Come on up. Kick the legs out. All right, we've got our second set, our last lower body exercise, and then our gentle spinal core. Make those fists so the arms cannot compensate and wiggle. Reach and forward. Drop down into squat. Second set, 40 seconds. Here we go. Woo, that's it. Challenge yourself. Get low. Yeah, Jim. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Mm hmm Fist reach forward. Nice, strong arm. Yes. I love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. Keep going. Good. See if you can drop even lower into your squat. Uh-huh. Good. Get them down. Ho, oh, ho, Last 15. Nice. Yes. Give me 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, lower, five, four, three, 
two, and rest. Everyone come on up to stand to release those legs. We were doing internal rotation. Let's do some external rotation. Hands on hips, right leg lift, open and close. And notice that my body does not move, just my leg. I guess my leg is technically part of my body, but you know what I'm saying. Good. Give me four more. Three. Two. And one. Other side. Good. Nice balanced body. You can take them slower. Give me four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Now that we are on a hip brigade, we're going to continue on with that with our hip cars, controlled articular rotations. So one leg equals one half of a set. We've done these before a lot of times because they are my favorite way to stretch the hip. It's mobility, not flexibility, but it is so good for hip release and health. Pull your left heel in towards your butt. Not this again. No, not this again. Pick the leg up. Make as big a circle as you can out to the left. Knee all the way to elbow. Bring it through and back around. And this is our 40 seconds. Do not let the rest of your body move. Don't let your right elbow bend. Keep everything completely stable as you work through it. And continue to go slow. Make that circle even bigger each time. Squeeze it out. Yes, half done. Good. Now your right elbow is naturally going to want to bend. The body wants to take the path of least resistance. Don't let it. Yes, last 10. We're going to go right into the right leg in five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Pull the right heel into the butt. 40 seconds. Here we go. Work through it all the way up. Get that knee all the way to your elbow. Bring it through the body and back up and around. Ooh, and this should be intense. Not only are you building hip mobility, but you're also strengthening the muscles around the hip, but that is so important to protect the hip joint capsule. And if you've never had a hip injury and you keep doing these, my hope for you is that you will probably never have a hip injury. I can't say never, but I can say probably. Keep going, half done. Good, slower, bigger, squeeze out more range. Your hips will thank you for this after, I promise. My hips are so happy because I do these last 10. Good, yes. One more, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees and rock your hips side to side. All right. We've got our last set. Pull the left heel into the butt. Engage your core. Press the floor away from you with your hands. Engage every part of your body so that you can do 40 seconds. Time is rolling. Big old circles. Work it up, around, and through. And the uh, rest of the body is working so hard to support that leg that it does not move at all. Awesome. Keep it up. Half done. Push the floor away. Get some upper body strength in there as well. Why not? Yes. Last 10 seconds. Maybe that's only one more circle that is the slowest, biggest circle that you've ever done. Five, four, three, Two, set the left knee down. Pull the right knee onto the butt. Last active lower body work of the day, 40 seconds. We are going. Good. Squeeze your core. Engage your arms. Squeeze your glutes. You got it. Keep doing it. Amazing. 
Um, good. And make sure you're breathing. Sometimes we tend to kind of hold our breath when we do mobility work because we just want more range. Last 10. One more. So slow. So big. Give me five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Everybody make your way down to six. So working our spine and working our core, we're going to take five roll-ups. I reach my arms forward, final flexion. Take a big breath in. As I exhale, I roll down as slowly as I possibly can, keeping my spine in flexion, rounding until I come down. Reach back, inhale, touch the floor. Exhale, roll all the way up. And over. Good. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, reach back. Find contact with the floor. Exhale, roll up. And over. Take three more of these. I've got an Instagram question I'm going to look at quickly. Keep going. Don't worry about the breath. Don't worry about anything. Just keep moving. It's hard to mess these up as long as you're going slow and thinking about working through each vertebrae of the spine. Good. Let's take one more. Everybody come to sit. Reach those arms forward. We're going to roll back together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach back, big breath in. Exhale, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a forward fold. Give your head a rock side to side. Three big breaths. On each inhale, find a little length in your spine. On each exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, round. And last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Now roll on up to sit. Come into a cross-legged seat if you can. If you can't, come into any seated variation. Root the right hand into the mat. Reach the left arm up and over. Big side body stretch. Now, none of this lengthen the left fingertips away from the body and relax your head. Good, you probably hear my, my band pumping in the background. And breathe. Good, come back through center. Left hand roots into the floor. Reach the right arm up and over. Big side body stretch. None of this. Lengthen out, relax the neck, and keep lifting that top shoulder up. I know, bossy, bossy, so many, so many instructions. Breathe through it. Come back through center. Last stretches, left hand over to right knee. Twist, grow taller. As you come back through center, right hand over to left knee. Don't only twist, also grow taller from the top of your head. And then start to bring yourself back up through center. Reach the arms up. Clasp the hands. Big stretch. Push the ceiling away from you for four, three, two, and release the hands. Round of applause. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll, we will be exploring a lot of strength next week. Good job. Thank you. Qu question, Steve. Yeah.